Hello guys, my name is Alex Gomez and in today's video we're gonna be blocking out Black Adam but before that make sure you hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification button so you don't miss any content uh, so this is a three part series of this video we're gonna, the first one is gonna be blocking out the second one is gonna be detailing and the third one is gonna be posing so we're gonna start uh, this one with the hips and uh, we're gonna start with a, a polysphere that's why I started there and then I just uh, used some IMM brushes to do some primitives uh, I got those brushes from uh, Ch Chain Olsen website I'm gonna leave the link below and um, these uh, brushes are really good because there, uh, as soon as you insert them, they are very poly groups. So in this uh, stage of blocking, like it's very important because we can mask and move independent poly groups. If you go to your brush and then you go to mark by poly groups and put that uh, uh, to a hundred percent, you can modify your poly groups with no problem. So make sure that you go to brushes and then you go to masking auto masking and auto masking ma mask by polygroups and that is how it will allow you to move a polygroup independently without moving the other ones so sometimes uh, you get the same color when you insert in a new brush and uh, as soon when that, that piece that you inserted is mask if you hit Control w is gonna create a new polygroup for you so it's not gonna be joined with other ones so it will be easier for you to manipulate that polygroup so as you can see we just started just from from the hips down hips legs and um, then go with the torso neck and head um, at the end I'm gonna do the arms but pretty much it's just doing like a, a proportions like a, see like a kind of like working the the main shapes so, uh, shoulders chest uh, hips uh, uh, legs uh, upper legs uh, lower legs uh, foot, uh, feet neck uh, so so this is for me like uh, the way that I go I look at a lot of references as well a uh, look uh, reference online of blocking out characters it helps a lot to see like uh, where to to locate um, your shapes uh, it doesn't necessarily you have to know a lot of anatomy yes you do but that's why it's important to look for references when you are doing this stage of the process of blocking out because pretty much you kind of like adding muscles that's what it is I kind of like muscles and for these uh, primary shapes for blocking out so this is one option that you can do for blocking out the other option is just kind of like a start from zero and use dynamesh but uh, I when I have an idea that uh, a character specific character that I'm gonna do uh, I just start by myself uh, with uh, this technique but if I don't know what I'm doing, I just kind of like uh, try to sketch in 3D. I just grab a Dynamesh sphere and I start from it and start stretching stuff, pulling stuff off, out. And um, the way I can come up with cool stuff, and I call it like happy accidents, sometimes you come up with shapes that you don't really uh, realize that you're doing and then they look kind of cool. and. And then you come up with something cool so yeah that's the thing for this in this case scenario it just it's easier to get proportions when you have like a character in mind and stuff so that's what i'm doing here just kind of like making proportions and and moving stuff around kind of like giving the the main shape you know it's is gonna say oh this is just like a panicky like everyone but it's so important this, this process of blocking out like like if you have a good block of man your character is gonna look really really good it's gonna and you start looking at proportions and 
you pretty much avoid working in deta uh, details and then you're gonna see oh I don't like this this proportion you know, is not as good I should have changed that and once you're on details and trying to change proportions it's really hard no hard but it's just like it's time consuming so might as well like uh, working in the right proportions right away and then doing that in this case I was just working in the fingers and then I realized that I was kind of like having a hard, not a hard time, but kind of like to do five fingers. So I think I'm gonna just come up with my own tool that is gonna generate my my fingers. Uh, the same I am tool. So eventually I'm just gonna create it for you guys. I just um, I'll probably get it for free. If you guys want the normal speed of this video, I'm just gonna put it for free on my art station i believe i can do that for free in our station if, if i can do it on far uh, art station i will do it in comrade but e either of those i'm gonna leave the description down below the video so yeah pretty much like the fingers are the same i just doing just two kind of like uh, joints of the fingers and then, then the third one it's okay i just use uh, a pinch brush and you kind of like do the third one there but yeah that's one of the important things just look, look a reference of other characters or, or what you want to do for this character pretty much i kind of like I knew I wanted to do Black Adam and I wanted to look like uh, Dwayne, uh, Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, but um, yeah, so I had a lot of pictures of him, they save up and, and just start kind of like uh, trying to get his body type but in a stylized way as well as his face, he looked a little bit like him, but that's just uh, create my own concept for, for this character, which I really enjoyed the process of. I really sometimes is like to create your own you know sometimes people say like okay if you're gonna apply for a for a job in the in the modeling department uh, it's uh, and if you come out with your own design like you have to be a really really good design to do that I'm not a really really good designer I design some characters and I do freelance sometimes design characters but my forte is more like a modeling lighting and compositing but um, yeah like uh, for example you're applying for a job for a modeler yeah take characters that are, that are already designed talk to the uh, artist and make sure that you can use them for this purpose and uh, because yeah like uh, uh, recruiters are gonna uh, be more interested in seeing if you can actually take a concept like a two concept and put it in 3d so that's that's the most important thing i think that right there so yeah i just keep going with my with my process here i really enjoy the whole thing here that and i'm gonna do as I say, like a, a three-part tutorial, yeah, tutorial process. But you're gonna, you guys gonna have my the full, like the normal speed of, of these videos. So yeah, gonna keep doing that. Then I'm just going to get the head like a properly. I kind of like change the head there because it was it wasn't symmetrical. So I was like, oh, let's make a new one. And now I have symmetrical it's easier to try to fix it just like a do it right away brand new uh, you have it there i still feel that the legs are a little bit short i know i did the legs a little bit short in this one then yeah i just adjust them after i finish my block out but always look at your characters everywhere everywhere even when you're blocking out or when you're detailing or posing always look at your character everywhere like every single angle is so important so you you see that things are are going like right in the right way but yeah this process was really really fun really enjoyed it um, hopefully you guys if you download uh, the video so you can Follow my process as well. If you have any questions, just shoot it. And, and uh, if you have any questions about the video, how did I move stuff or max stuff, just let me know and I, I will guide you through that. 
no problem just leave the comments below and um, we do that so now I'm building the clavicle I already know like kind of like a, what kind of shape I really want for this character uh, mostly to do like a very very stylized is the idea very stylized you know it's just gonna look like a mannequin at this stage you know and just just to look for proportions like how big I want the muscles like how broad the shoulders I want to be um, wanted to be like and stuff like that how long the neck is as well so as you can see I use a lot of um, transpose and the regular gizmo and I use both sometimes depending on the situation or what I need to do when I'm posing I use the transpose tool mostly but uh, sometimes I use just the gizmo because it just reminds me a lot of Maya so for me it's way easier so as you can see here like I say oh this is too short the legs are too short and then I started to fix them I ended up fix them more so you see like every single kind of like part of the body is a polygroup and it's so good, like so useful to work with polygroups. As you can see here, like for example, when I inserted a tool, it has the same material as the legs. So what I did is just, while the tool is masked, when, when the rest of the body is masked, but, the, but your new inserted tool is not, just hit Ctrl W and that, that is gonna create a new polygroup. And I do the same process for, you know, to do the traps there as well <clears throat> yeah so our character is, is taking more shape now it's, it's looking better i'm gonna do like the dorsal muscles there you know make like a cool like a mean and that's kind of like i try to go for so you go for like a superhero type of of, of body so that's I go on Pinterest and Instagram and, uh, and, uh, and Google a lot about uh, like, uh, you know, uh, superhero bodies and I think like my neck is not that, it's too short so in this case I just uh, located the neck a little bit more and kind of like give it, but that's too much. There is a way that you can do it with transpose that you can move like a uh, mask all the the polygroups, but I uh, was just kind of like a, I don't know I was having problems with my pen and I just decided I just do it one one by one. Because pretty much this process it took me around an hour. This is speed up like uh, seven times around, so it took me like about an hour to get. Uh, the blocking out shape done which is which is not bad like sometimes like you know like I don't do this kind of characters very often but if I do it more often obviously it's gonna take less time less time so for blocking out I will say like a, it will take you like around like a 30 to 40 minutes if you are really good at it and and uh, you know like you practice a lot so this is it for the video make sure that you guys subscribe watch my other videos uh, stay tuned for part two part two is gonna be detailing so don't forget guys to subscribe like hit the notification button and see you next friday take care and thank you so much bye